We in the booth. Alpha male. Alana Love. Tell me you ain't tryna rap with a porn star. Talk music and brag about your sports car. Smoke blunt, sip drinks for the interview. And the the world who you be when you in the booth. I'm familiar with the cues, but I brought bras. Bar line of love, see a bar being porn star. star. Around here, we don't do things minimal. Nah, say cheese, you on camera, we in the booth. 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 Oh man, we in the booth. It's your boy Alpha Mel. We got a line of love. Hi. Got my boy Danilo repping the Heights. I mean, he's a dope artist. Uh, he does reggaeton, R&B, and he to tell you about it. What's up, man? Thank you so much for coming you on. Start words today. <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, let me start. Let me start. I can't stop, Gary. No, <laughs> don't tell me it was a good time. <laughs> but now, thank y'all for having me. It was a pleasure, bro. It was good to meet you, bro. It's good to have you on again because you were a guest on Love and Laughs. Yes, yes, that shit was tough. I see y'all got the upgrade going on. It's always that upgrading. So for people that don't know who Danilo is, who are you? So I'm a 24-year-old music artist. Um, I started off as a musician as a kid. Um, Got sick of just being the the guy behind the guitar. So I decided to pursue being a full-time music artist. And and, I'm just here doing my thing step by step. Appreciating the, the feedback, the feedback, just appreciating mm-hmm. everything happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what you started first? Because I see you do, like I said, you do R&B and you do reggaeton. So, which one you attack first? So when I first started dropping music, on um, I was heavy into the R&B, bro. My first project was a R&B EP. Yeah, it was like pop R&B. That's what it was. What was it called? It was called, it was called um. It was a Valentine's Day EP. Yeah. Like, I don't remember. It was like three years ago and shit. And it's crazy because everything that could have went wrong with the EP went wrong, bro. <laughs> like what? Like it didn't drop in time. The cover art didn't get made correctly. So it didn't fit the frame and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, posted, bro. Yeah. But shit, like, I made it happen. You know, I didn't really stress it. And it, it's crazy because um, now one of the songs from the R&B project is, like, my most popular song, bro. Yeah. Like, over time, that ended up generating the most streams. And yeah. Was that the Triple X song? Nah, that's, um, it's, it's an old song. It was, like, my first song. It's called Time. And um, it's crazy. I never promoted it. I never marketed it, but mm-hmm. it's, it shows you how things work. Like, you never know what's going to pop off. And, yeah, exactly. Because you, you dropped it and you probably didn't do as much promotion as you should have. Mm-hmm. Right? But then with time, as you becoming a, a better artist, you promoting your new music. Exactly. So once they tune into that, they then they're back. like, yo, hold up. What's this? They go back, they're like, yo, this is hey, the banger, man. man. So that's what's up. So what made you want to do reggaeton? And that's six R and B. I've always loved reggaeton. Like I grew up with it. Um, which reggaeton you grew up in? Cause you're 24, so which yeah. which yeah. was your era? Cause so, I know my shit. I'll say hmm, it, it's tricky, bro. I know my Nicki Jam my whole past. Nicki Jam go crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, see, that, that's, that's my whole past. Eras. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'll say this: like I wasn't there like for the young Nicki, like when he was mm-hmm. with Daddy Janky when there was a group. Exactly. I'll say yeah. I was there when like. When I was tuned in, this when Daddy Janky, like, he dropped Gasolina. And when yeah, it shit started popping off, I'd gone ahead, um, mm-hmm. Zion and Lennox. Mm-hmm. They go crazy. But, um, oh, yeah, bro. I've always been in tune to that type of, like, I don't know. I never saw myself making her like throw music, bro. Mm-hmm. So what inspired you? I'll say, I'll say it's mainly, like, the, the younger niggas coming up now, bro. Yeah. Like, I saw myself in them a lot. Like, just like, the... Like, uh, uh, who is it? Osuna. Osuna. Faruko, Bad Bunny. Yeah. But you have that Azuna vibe. Like, nah, when yeah. I heard it, yeah. Bro, yeah. bro, like, if you see my social media, my music, everything, I really try to, like... I wouldn't say imitate, but like I really use them as a. Uh, you got inspired. Do you tag oh, him in every yeah. post to see if you like repost? I just don't be reposting, but they yeah. never be looking at, be looking right. at my shit. But it's not even about the music; it's the fashion, how they dress, mm-hmm. like they vibes and shit. Like yeah. I, I really enjoy the culture, but I was like, shit, I'm Hispanic too. Like why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. So, and boom, like shit, I dropped my first reggaeton, and a lot Did of. Did you people, pick up the ladies with reggaeton? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the, the Latinas, bro. Yeah, I'll you say mean, this. You bro. do you do shows and shit. Yeah, I haven't been doing shows lately, but when I do, I really get a lot of love. But right. I'll say this, like, what's the craziest thing that happened to you at a show? At a show, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. 
like I said, like I said in my last interview, I'm very professional, but like, if, if a girl throws herself on me, bro, like. Yeah. Did a girl me. ever throw herself at you? It's happened a couple of times. Oh, do tell, I like story time. I mean, I'll say this, I'm not gonna speak Drink too much, Cheers, but. why? This I'm is in the booth. I'll, I'll say like, I've had a couple of people that <laughs> that been with me on stage accompanying me, trying to fuck around. Like, what's that shit called, backstage? But, mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, the groupies? Damn, but groupies is crazy, bro. But, and like I said, like, though, you, you there, though. Yeah, I, mean, once you I, I keep groupies, my head in the game a lot. Like, mm-hmm. I get distracted easily. So if I were to. With the groupies? Like, no, I could. <laughs> Let's like, stick to the groupies. To stick to, I'll say this about groupies. Like, if I were to fuck around with them, I'll fuck up my show. Like, I'll forget my lyrics. Like, mm-hmm. I kind of put myself in a zen and a mode that, like. Yeah. yeah, but what about after the show? You can fuck around with them after. I but, don't, cause I'll be having like a like a weird high, bro. Like, I'm excited, but like, yeah, I want to be by myself. I want to take it in. It's not right. all about. It's not all about chicks. I mean, yeah. you're like, you appreciate them, but you're like, yeah. I'm here for my music. I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Like, sometimes yeah, I'll be in that mood, but it's just it's a high time. when you're performing, bro. It's just like, damn, I want to take it in. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So, um, I, <laughs> your music, man. When I hear it, I hear the clarity. I hear the passion in it, the um, the words is dope. The way you deliver it, I spoke to you earlier about how you deliver it, sometimes you go high, low. Mm-hmm. Um, all that shit is important. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you when you put it on, it sounds professional. So mm-hmm. tell everybody, I mean, why that shit sounds professional. Who's touching it up? I mean, shit. Keep shit. This your nigga right here touching that shit up. So you do it all. Like, <laughs> yo, I mean, yeah, wait, bro. how you do it? I mean, shit. Come on. I'll what tell you shit? this. I'll make the beat. I produce a track, I mix and record it. I come up with the lyrics, the melodies, but I'm not gonna take credit because my manager too, like yeah. my sister, like whenever I need help, she be coming up with some melodies too. Like, right, cool. I'm no, very that's, good. That's the yeah, family, bro. like. I'm, I'm so not, wait, she produces too and all nah, that? She give me like ideas, like for oh. the song. And the thing with me too is like, you could give me the smallest idea, bro, mm-hmm. and I could like develop that into something. That's crazy. like him. Yeah, yeah bro. That's what's up. That's, 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 that's an artist, that's an artist, bro. That's an artist, man. That's right. How do you come? In the family, so the, you know, the juice is there. Yeah. It's always good to get a little pitch, you know? Like, mm-hmm. she throws me, like, earlier she threw me a beat of a classic R&B song that she was like, yo, we should try to, like, you know, do something with this. Mm-hmm. And that's all ideas. Mm-hmm. Love that. How do you come up with the beat, the song? Like, what inspires you, basically? Um, is it life events? First? What comes first? Uh, I'll say the beat, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'll say, like, I'm lucky enough, bro, that, like, I got started, like, as a musician, like, playing piano as a kid, guitar, all that, that, like, um, I, like, I have, like, a musical library in my head, bro, so I always have ideas. So it's very easy for me to, like, make a beat, like, sit down and, I, bro, people don't believe me, but I'll cook up a beat in 50 minutes. Nah, 25 I can see that yeah. I was just throwing my melodies like I'll be I'll be um, on Twitch too bro like doing my songs from like scratch like live streaming and showing everyone how to do it I'll start off with a beat then I'll connect the mic and I'll start mumbling but I'll be mumbling like melodies mm-hmm. and shit I'll, but I'll have it recorded and then from the melodies I'll just insert lyrics into it Lyri- I'll tell you this lyrics is the very last thing I focus on but it's because I'm but more into the beat the comes first yeah but the dope part about you I think is um, while you're making the beat you're clearly making the, the song in your head you know what I mean like you hear what you're gonna put you hear mm-hmm. how you want to you know that's crazy bro that's on some J. Cole shit cause he do everything he, mm-hmm. he calls it and I appreciate that all of that so that's fire bro not a lot of people say that <laughs> you go for cut. I'm <laughs> well, I'm waiting for hey, you. Something freaky about say that. <laughs> something freaky about the studio. Hey, nothing well, about the studio, bro. How did you? You know, you've been in the industry for quite some time now. Like, I'm sure you've dealt with, you know, the fuckery and the realness and mm-hmm. everything. And fuckery. how did you how, differentiate between them both? Um, I'll say this. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, it's not a sexual question. No, you good. <laughs> the next one probably gonna be, bro. The next one probably gonna be, so I'ma just take this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm run with it. I'll say this, that like, um, it's, it's kind of hard, bro, to tell, like, who's, like, genuine or not, because, bro, people are good at faking that shit, bro. Like, mm-hmm. selling dreams. I'll say that, like, me, like, me personally, I consider myself such a genuine person that if, if I don't see that you're similar to me, 
in that sense and that like let's all help each other mm -hmm. i'm not i'm gonna i'll take the slightest precaution about that bro like, oh no this person no i'm on you, you uh you see the red flags in yes. friendship business yes, all of that what are the red flags yeah, like, yeah, give us one, like, one that five. triggered you that I, I, I think it's five, bro. I'll say the first one is if they just talking about money straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. Oof. Like, bro, we talking about no money. No contract. You, like, I understand it's a business, but that means you don't, that means you don't care about the art. You, you're mm -hmm. just more int interested in the business, which I respect, but I'm not as interested in the business. I just like making music. I enjoy that. Yeah. Um, two, I'll say, um... There's a lot of weirdos, bro, in the industry. Bro. <gasps> no. I, ain't wanna, I mean, I don't have to deal with it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy, but I see how niggas move around females, mm -hmm. and I pride myself in like having a lot of respect. And being a guy? Nah, like <laughs> I pride myself in <laughs> being, being a respectful guy. <laughs> but I, I, I work with a lot of females, that. Oh. so I, I pride myself that like they always tell me. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> they always tell me like, oh, like thank you for being respectful. Like mm -hmm. we dealt with some weird ass niggas. Some creeps and shit. I'm like, oh, they be like surprised that you just there to make music. Yes, bro. Just, you know, you see how I have the studio in my house? Like mm -hmm. the amount of times, like I don't know, like I'll invite a female that wants to record over. They're always a little skeptical because yeah. it's my house. But the first thing I say, like while we're talking, be like, oh, it's in my house. Like I hope that doesn't so bother you. You let them know ahead, yeah, ahead of, time. of time. I don't let them. Yeah. I don't tell them it's a studio, and then they just walk in my apartment and then be like, what the fuck did any girl that? ever hit on you? Though, right? It's my yeah, boy. It's in your bedroom. It's in my bedroom. Do you tell them it's in your bedroom? Yeah. Oh, you're learning from me. Yes, bro. I'm so proud. No, no, no. I'm not getting into no freaky shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, because, you know, you tell the girl. Yeah, I got yeah, I'm on 100, bro. Like, I'm saying, mean, like, Did they ever try hitting on you? Like, nah, bro. Really? Nah, like, I feel like sometimes they do, but I, I don't entertain Do you go them, with bro. it? I don't. I can't, because then I'll be like every other nigga. Me, uh, I'm trying There's to be too many of them, bro. Yeah, bro. And the way I look at it, like this, like, let's say she's coming on to me in my crib while we're recording. You would kick her out? I wouldn't kick her out. I'll be like, oh, you know, this is the track. I'll, <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'm just a, a kind nigga, you feel me? So I'm, I'll be entertaining it, but not to the point where, like, we're gonna fuck around. Like, what if she comes on to you? You'll just, say, no, stop. I won't be like, no, stop, Bob. I'll be like, yo, let's get this song done. And then yeah. we can fuck. Oh, you okay. Nah, 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 <laughs> yeah, like that, bro. I, and I feel like if y'all see me in the studio with a bunch of females, like if we're ever in that position, like you're gonna see how I am, bro. Like I'm just there trying to. Yo, <laughs> y'all see bro. my boy in the back. He's like, I'll take it down. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down. What? Don't don't you? Both of them. Both of them. See, I'm not like that. Bro. <laughs> I want to get this shit done, bro. I want to get this shit done. So dude. get it done and then get that done too, like. Like I told you, I don't like. Nah, being... but he like, yo, let's lay the track down. What would you and then do? We lay the smack down. What would you do? <laughs> I, just, I just said it. Lay the track down. Then we lay the smack down. Like, let's get the track done. Cool. I'll say this, bro. Like, when I do that shit, when I don't really entertain women in that aspect, like, while we doing music, that shit probably be, that shit be turning them on more, bro. They be trying to come out to me heavier or, like, the next time we meet, then. Yeah, but they're like, they're yo, like, why oh, he don't want me? That's not you. It's just, like, well, I'm trying to get this shit done. You're not on that type of time at the moment, bro. Oh, so, like that. what's the weirdest thing that happened to you at your studio? My studio? Your bedroom, bro. Imagine, bro. Like, Damn, bro. Like, huh? I'm sounding boring, bro, but... Nah, that's... that's just, I'm telling you. Wait, what? Like, that's like, I sound boring, but... I'm trying to get this shit done. Like, we here for a reason. No, what about after you're done with the track? That, I still you don't celebrate? That, I, still, I still consider that, like, studio time. So there's a celebration? Maybe the next day on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Talk people for studio time? Like, do you record the artists? I... Mm, it depends, bro. I... I don't charge everybody. It depends who comes to me and like how they approach me about mm -hmm. it. Like a lot of people be on some entitled shit. If you on that vibe, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna charge you. If you come to me kindly, bro, like and humbly, humbly and respectful, mm -hmm. I Let's won't make charge. It happen, yeah. yeah, why not, bro? Like mm -hmm. I get my name out. You get you get a song. Mm -hmm. Do you sell your beats and stuff? Like anybody yeah, approaches you, like you're making a beat. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. How was your first time at a show? Were you nervous? Did you fuck up? Did you not fuck up? How was it? Okay, my first time at a show. <laughs> and it was an R&B song, right? Or, or not even, because remember, I was a musician before, so. Yeah. My first show was 10, I was 10. 
Oh wow, it was last year. Yeah, so oh. that kind of like pretty much set me you up. You said last year? Yeah, <laughs> 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 man. Still got the guitar, man. Right? I mean, no one call it. Night, like. <laughs> nah, that pretty much set me up, bro. Like, that's why I say, like, I feel like, you know, I'm meant for this and, like, that's why I don't fuck around as much as I could as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, do all, these, do all this fuckery, like, fuck around with women like that, like, as much as I could because I feel like I'm set up for this from a young age. I've been doing this, you know? And I'm actually genuine. I, I enjoy helping people, bro. So, you know so, what, bro? You're a rare kind, let me, man. Let me just say, um, what are you saying? He's a um, rare kind. Sure. Yeah, exactly. So let me touch on that. Like, let me just say, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, um, for example, like, Fresh Prince, right? I don't know if you're too young for that. Right? I know you're not too young, but I, know, y all, y all, y all, I ain't really watch it. I still watch that shit. All right, yeah, me too. You watch Bel Air though? Not to yeah, be, bro. Be, the new shit, Bel Air? Oh, no, let me show. Go watch that, bro. That's fire. Fire, yeah. I have to it's, go uh, watch it. It's like a drama, and they really touch on a lot of crazy. Word? Yeah, go watch it. I don't know if y'all watch it, but um, anyway, to touch on Fresh Prince, he had, he said he used to hide his. What happened? Watch it. You never watched it? I didn't either. Nah, you should, well, you know, I'm into that. So, um, but the uh, thing I want to talk about is he used to go to school with his books and his pizza, and a pizza box, find like, he, but it's okay to do that. Go to school, you know, it's okay to be a genuine dude when there's a million creeps out there, dog. Like, don't let nobody, you know, divert you from that. If you want to be a genuine dude, be genuine, bro. I mean, if chicks is pushing at you, and they're like, they're like, oh, uh, this nigga ain't want to, so what? The way I look at it, bro, is I'm standing up, bro. And don't get me wrong, bro. I'm saying all this shit. Like, I do be fucking bitches. I'll be doing my yeah, shit. Yeah, like, that's but it, Tell me your worst sex time. experience. My worst? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Man, you said, bro, I was so You know, I'm being. Yeah, but then I go to fucking bitches and shit. Hi. <laughs> I said, my worst sexual experience. Yeah. That was the question. Damn, I think my first time, low key. But a lot of people. How old were you? My first 17. time was horrible. <laughs> So, uh, but this is my show, so we're not going to talk about it. It's yours. My first time was head. First time was head? It was my first time, but I was we'll drunk, bro. Later. I was <laughs> drunk. And um, I was drunk, and I was just off it, bro. I was off it, so I couldn't really function. You were function. nervous and drunk? I wasn't nervous. I was just drunk, bro. Like, I didn't really know what to do. And you were already told an artist. How old you being drunk? Like, you, you he said 17. You were 17, you said? Oh, all right. But, like, <laughs> but, like, I'll say, like, I don't know, bro, like, I was, I'll say the worst part is that I was uncomfortable. Like, why? Did man. she hurt you? Like, why? Y'all gonna be vulgar, bro? Yes! She was too tight, nigga. Like, is that a was, bad thing? Well, for the first time, it's gonna hurt, right? Like, you, you're a first time, or you, you're like. Yeah, but not. Hey. Uh -huh. Damn, like, I, nigga, I, 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 I say this, I say this, bro. Like, there, there be some so niggas, there, there be some niggas that some niggas don't like that tight shit. Like that, bro. Bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. If you know, you, know, you don't. Bro. No, please explain, cause I know I. Pussy too tight. Not his, bro. not his. He doesn't have a pussy. No, it said, was his first time, though, bro. He so he probably tight. looked. Yeah, like, but how does that matter? Yo, he probably like this. Is supposed yeah, to let me that, ride in as a first time. Isn't that a good thing? Yo, he probably like, I'm supposed to zoom right in. She was a virgin, I remember that. Now he know what I'm talking about. He know what I'm talking about, but like, it's just, you know, it's uncomfortable. You know, you prefer that easy access slide in. That's well, why Lou is your best you friend. You appreciate the tight pussy is the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, well, thank Lube God, bro. Lou is your best friend. <laughs> like that's what I'm Lou is your best friend, though. It was. Oh, my, my first time. No, no, Vaseline. <laughs> we won't get to that. Nah, that's me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andy. Nah, bro. We are not getting started on Nobody this again. Nobody won't fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> chill, chill. Well, so, what's the craziest DM you've gotten? Craziest DM? Yeah. Like from a, like a fan? A oh, fan? Yeah. Let's start with that. Um, <laughs> damn, I'm about to like switch it up because you probably think I'm going to say some sexual shit. No, no, it's but, okay. I'm nah, sure you I, got like some I like... Had some, I had some bitch talking to me about telling me to sign her money and shit. That's like crazy. a fan like in Colombia, bro. So oh, sure I want to go to Colombia. Yeah, me too, but <laughs> she hit me up like, I don't know, bro. She was just like, oh, you know, I'm a big fan. Like, 
I'm struggling. I, I fell for her story, but yeah. did you send money? No. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, wow. That's cheap. Hey, like, give a little 15. She would have been like, yo, that's bro. my king. Y'all gotta, yeah, he, y'all gotta send money Pablo. to any random girl that I tell y'all, bro. To send her money. I'm here. saying it's not like she could have requested. Like, you know, you send her a little 15. She can't do nothing with your shit. Like, yeah, here's 15, bro. Why? What's the crazy thing? Like, you spend that at the store. Bag of tips and shit. bro, but I just found it weird, bro. It's like, like there's a lot of scammers me. on Instagram, too, bro. Like, a lot of weird fucking hackers and shit. No, bro. Not like, even just shit? on Instagram. You just asked me? Yeah. You know what's the weirdest shit my dumb ass fell for? And you you was involved with it. They, they put, and they, I said no. Yo, I thought I was blowing <laughs> up, bro. Hey, yo. I thought I was blowing up, man. I'm like. <laughs> I get a fucking uh, DM. Yo, I like your music. Uh, my son's birthday coming up. Can you do a song for him? I'm like, what are you heard from me? She's like, yo, I've been watching. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I give you $500. I'm like, nah, I do it for trees. <laughs> yo, I came up with a banger. It wasn't even, like, it's a real dope happy birthday song that yeah. I, I'm keeping that shit. I'm gonna try to make that shit for everybody, right? Yeah. Nigga, I was ready to send that shit out in all that. And then my man hit me up, like, yo, did she ask for this amount? I'm like, yeah. And then he was like, Oh yeah, that's a scam. You're gonna uh, no, uh, and then she sends a picture of like a check. She's like, yeah, you can cash yeah, it. I'm like, wow. Well, so they're gonna get the money, <laughs> but then it's gonna cancel out on my part type yeah. shit. But she'll leave with the money, and I'll get canceled on my part. And, you know, exactly. Bro. That's what I have in me. That's why you have me. That shit. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm all hoe. I'm like, yo, hit mm-hmm. Is this? A- I'm slow. Hit him. <laughs> yeah. That's See, it. That's I may be a fake Russian, but in that case, yeah. I'm a real Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so um, uh, you didn't say what are you like? You, I know you're Latino. Yeah. What are you? Um, so I'm Dominican, like fully. My dad, my mother. Were they musicians too? Nah, surprisingly not. Nah. Like, um, it started with my siblings. We was the ones that started the music shit. Yeah. Um, my family is full of doctors and. So did they support teachers. you? I have like um. It's crazy because when I talk about my family, I split it up in two. I, I was raised by my mom's side, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> I have like my inner family and my outer family. My inner family is my mom, my sister. My whole family is my outer family. family. Yeah, like those are the ones they support me. Mm-hmm. The other ones, nah, they don't jack that shit. It's like those like, they're gonna want to. They right? already they, gonna... they seen shit. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. You know, I'm not the type of person to rub shit in anybody's nah, face, bro, but I, you. I like like you you'll see it when it happens, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to prove a point to nobody. Just prove a point to myself basically that I could do it. But how do you deal with the haters online and stuff and on um, the haters online because you know there's a they're yeah, so a tough lot. behind the computer yeah. and stuff and it's crazy because um do you just say pull up nah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's a pull up that block button is my pull up bro like yeah I'll be your block was heavy it's not even because it affects me heavy it's just i don't pay no mind you feel me and i i tend to people don't realize like because love always outshines the hate mm-hmm. always but I do get a, I do receive a handful of it. Mm-hmm. It's just I don't let it be seen. I don't entertain it. I don't talk shit. I don't try to, you know. You don't feed it. Yeah. For what, bro? When I could just share all the love that I'm getting from everybody. Yeah. No, I agree. Like, cause people are so tough behind the computer, and then like yeah, I'm yeah. sure they're sitting in their mom's basement or something. Like, I'm so bored with my life, and I hate my life. So let me hate on everybody. Yeah. And, you know, they they're like texting you in between the show. Texting. Like, yeah. They have your number? Oh. You know what I mean? It's all messy. <laughs> you know, like, they watching a show on TV, and when they go on commercial, they send some hate shit. Click, and it affects you, because they, they move on to the next yeah. post. And they keep watching their show, and you did, like... But that's why fuck? this industry is not for the weak. No, it's not like, you have to be so thick-skinned, and if you're not, you're in the wrong industry. Yeah. Yeah, you're telling me. I was, like, one of the few people, like, like in the heights. Like, I'm not saying I'm a pioneer of music mm-hmm. over there, but I was one of the few people that I, I, I wanted to do something and I've stuck to it. Like, I went through all the bullying, through all the bullshit. Because it's, pop, it's popular to do music now. Everyone want to do that shit. Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, that shit was like the yeah, nerdy, really the nerdy shit. Like, oh, you doing music? Are you a musician? Like, mm-hmm. a baggy? I'm like, yeah, nigga, but... I, saw, I always see I the mean, everyone pick. wanted to fuck, like, someone in a band. I mean, yeah, I never but, did, though. But, yeah. But, like, in the heights, <laughs> like, in the hood, it's different, bro. Mm-hmm. Everyone's, like, trying to be an athlete, like, play basketball. Did you football. try to be an athlete? Nah, I wasn't. I was too focused, like. You never played anything? Nah, bro. I was too focused. Like, I play, yeah, I, I knew what I liked, bro. 
I'm nice. I'll smoke you, man. Ah 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 ah. And I'm a slow loser. I am a so ah ah. You break your own bro. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Next bro. show, air hockey. <laughs> I'll say this, like my right friends always answer questions. And yeah. ask questions. <laughs> my friends always say this about me, bro. Like they always be like, yo, like you always knew what you wanted to do from like a kid like while everyone was in the park i was in my crib practicing music practicing mm -hmm. guitar practicing that made music. you stay out of trouble that did make me stay out of trouble yeah because you know how you know what goes on out yeah, there yeah a lot of you know you know it's getting it's getting worse i mean it, it was worse back then but it's slowly Honestly, turning. um yeah like there's a lot more murders happening out there like yeah. back then it was just hustling you know somebody get killed it was like mm -hmm. once a year now yeah. it's like be careful, like your your the old ladies will get involved. Like they and the scooters doubled up. You see two people on the scooter, you gotta face them, like. <laughs> yeah, bro. They jumping out on you. I'm laughing, but that shit. It's that real, shit bro. Around, bro. Really serious right now. I guess think it's Dominican Republic out there, bro. Like, yo, take that mopeds, shit over there. man. Yo, they gotta cancel them. Bro. Yo, <laughs> cancel mopeds, yo. Well, all cameras. Yeah, right. What advice would you give to somebody that wants to, you know? in the industry um, I'll say See, like nothing sexual right now oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that like um, like you said you gotta be thick skinned but, like you gotta know that you wanna do this like there's too many people bro that like they want they wanna do this shit for fun cause they wanna be rich they wanna be famous they want the lifestyle mm -hmm. but it's not cause they genuinely love it bro. you don't got the passion if you don't got the passion for it bro it's not gonna work it's not gonna work bro it's not gonna work. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna end up making it difficult for people who actually are passionate for this shit because the music industry, the entertainment industry, it's just sat saturated, bro, like, to the fullest, bro. Yeah, I, I used to believe true. that. Oh, it's you believe that? It's oh, yeah, true. When the blue face came out and he said what he said, what he said? I said everyone's he said, I was listening blue to check? rapping. He just got into the studio that day and put him, and, mm. and, 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 he, does, and he admits it. He don't take it seriously. Yeah, like there's a lot of younger generation that's saying they yeah, don't take it seriously. Yeah, but after everyone pays it for their blue check, it's saturated. See, that's what I'm saying. I'll say this shit. You understand what, you yeah. heard what he said? I mean, no offense. No, no, it's fact, I used bro. to believe what he's saying, but now but, behind the industry, behind yeah. the game, they, they, but I'll say the this. get exterminated. You see, like, that's a fact. Blue doesn't give a fuck about him for passion. But that's why I say you're also hurting people who actually have a passion for this shit. Because mm -hmm. you're making it more difficult for them to actually come up and just live the dream they want to live. Because this niggas blowing off some stupid shit, bro. That's why we need bro. people like you to get on that yellow cat and I'm smack trying. the shit out of him. We need you to smack him, you know what I'm bro, saying? Bro, I'm trying to, bro. Get out of my Do you want to get in front of the camera? I'm that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, bro. That's, that's why I'm trying to come up, bro, to change that shit, bro. Maybe I genuinely probably. believe, bro. Like I'm, I'm here in the industry to like change it, bro. Yeah. I genuinely what believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bring it back to the club. I want it to be like I want it to be a genuine shit. Like I don't want it to be all about the money. I want talent because I don't know if y'all know, but in the music industry, talent is just four, like five percent per important. The beat. The talent the does not matter. What matters is the is the business side of this shit. So that's why you see so many people who are untalented blowing up in the music industry because talent doesn't matter. It's just the marketing, the the business. Like I want to make it to like where talent yeah, is at least forty percent, bro. Like yeah. Just shit. like my questions, forty <laughs> percent. Nah, you were talking about some ten percent. So what you what you got coming up right now, like that you excited about? Shit. I got a I got a lot more reggaeton coming out, bro. And I'm working on a project with one of my boys in Mexico, and um, I'm oh. planning on going there like sometime next month. We're invited. Of course, why are you asking me? Like, you're in Mexico. Yeah, I ain't there, bro. I'm oh, planning on just doing like the three songs. <laughs> nigga, them top here, bro. Yo, I love burritos, bro. I'm planning on just doing a three song EP yeah, over there. And I want to go back to dance hall, dropping English music too. And the, on the Afro beats, right? Like, mm, yeah, that's just dope. Song. That's a dope sound. That's I got pop music too, bro. I got pop music. What do you not have? I don't got, I don't got hip hop. Bro. And they're not regular. Like when you tune into his music, like it's not regular music. Something like it's really dope. We're gonna hear yeah. Okay. yeah. So you performing the D today, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's your newest one. Yep. That's gonna be my next single. But where right. can people find you before you perform? So you can find me on Instagram as Magic Danilo, Magic D A N I L O, 
and then on all platforms for my music is Danilo Concepcion. That's Spotify, Apple. Thank you. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. But Google oh, definitely. That's just me. <laughs> that's Google, you can definitely find it. But yeah, Danilo Concepcion on all platforms. Come on, like spell that shit for the people that I got, I got <laughs> So I'm, my first name D A N I L O. Yeah. Last name C O N. Yeah. One L. Alright, yes. Last name is C O N C E P C I O N. That's it. So I have to ask the Magic Danilo. Is that for Magic Mike for Magic Danilo? Ah, hell no. You, you dance? Do you dance? No. On top of that, bro. Like, 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 you dance with your songs, like. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah I want to though, bro. I want to start oh, learning. I want to, I want to start learning and getting more into it. But you know, it's I'm, I gotta, you know. Why not? Yes. If you feel you have the rhythm yeah. in your body to do it, go dance, bro. Like everybody else dancing, man. Like if I have rhythm, I'll be out here like. Bro, anybody, <laughs> can, anybody <laughs> can learn, bro. It don't matter how young, how old you are, but anybody can learn that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just putting your mindset to it. You can do anything. People don't realize I mean, that I shit. I put my mind to everything, and I know I could do it all. You could dance? Exactly. Yeah. It's I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> you put your mind to anything, you could do it. It's just yeah. a lot of people have that little bit of self-doubt. It only takes a little bit of self-doubt, like, for you to not do something, bro. Oh, yeah. I have no self-doubt. I'm so good. You're chilling. Yeah. All right, bro. But thank you so much for coming in. Of course. Thank y'all for having me. You bro. ready to perform? Of course. Of course. Yay! Let's go. That's Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.